So I've got my son out here to help me with this. It's a little bit complicated and a little bit dangerous, so it's probably not very fair to him, but it's a good learning experience too. I, like I said a minute ago, I've done this a lot of times. It would be a lot easier if I had a flatbed trailer, but I don't. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drag that plywood out of the trailer till there's only about a foot of it still on the trailer. For me to drag it out, I'm gonna lift it up, and then he's gonna put this underneath it so that I can get my forks up past the runners. Then he's going to guide me to pull that out until only the last foot is still on the trailer. So then we will have, out of an eight foot pallet, one foot on the trailer, three and a half foot will be occupied by the forks. Then we've got this stack of pallets right here that's gonna go underneath the plywood to support the weight and these will go in between the forks and let me set the plywood down on this and then drive back out then come around and get it from the other side. We use about two bunks of plywood like this per week and a lot of times we're able to have it delivered but logistically sometimes we're not. So over the years I've done a lot of unloading this by hand one sheet at a time and I've got to say this is better. Okay, I think that went pretty smooth. I wish I had everything set up so that this was always delivered. And I wish I had a big flatbed gooseneck so I could just set it on and off the side. But that's not where we're at. And it, a lot of times in life, you just gotta make the best of what you have. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links right here to a couple more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.